Hello again. Right, today I'm going to just do a quickie. Um, I'm going to take you through building up a braided oil feed pipe. Uh, the one that goes between your block and oil filter. Quite straightforward. Um, why braided? Well, the slightly bigger diameter inside so you get a slightly better flow. But also it means that because I've got adjustable fittings on, on the engine, should I need to fit an oil cooler, which I'm not going to initially, all I need to do is Get a bit of extra pipe, two fittings, and I'm done. Let's go through what we need. Right, let's figure out what we need to buy. So, first off, this is where the banjo connection would normally go and your pipe goes down to there. This here is a 5 8 UNF fitting. So we need a 5 8 UNF, which is often the same size, for example, as the... Um, uh, vacuum takeoff on your intake manifold. Right, down here is a one quarter NPT. Now that is a taper fitting as well, just to note. Right, let's go to the bench. So, what are we going to need? Right, that there is the filter end. So that's the one quarter NPT to AN8. This one here is a 5 8 UNF to AN8. So that then adapts both ends to fit a standard AN connector. Right, now for the pipe ends. One straight AN8 connector and one 90 degree AN8 connector. And of course, tube. Right, so first step, let's get those fittings on, shall we? I've put a little bit of um, blue sealant around there. You could use some PTFE tape, for example. Uh, this is the tape of fitting, so it doesn't really need, or shouldn't really need, much in the way of sealant. But I've put it on there just to be sure. I've also put some tape around these to protect the edges when I'm uh, tightening them on. It's the quite delicate aluminium fittings. So, let's get him in there. There's probably a specific torque for these, but I don't know it, so I'm just going to kind of go by feel. I'm not going to bore you. I'll tighten these up in my own time. Let's get this one in. I've, again, I've got a bit of blue sealant on here, but this is, isn't a taper fitting, so it does need some kind of uh, seal. I've got a little O-ring on there. Um, I prefer to have one of these O-rings that's built into a, a washer. Um, I don't think, in this situation, a copper washer would do it. Properly. I'll get that in there. Okay, next off we need to get one end fitted. Doesn't matter which really. So I'm going to go with the uh, bent 90 degree one. A bit more uh, protection there just in case, because they are yeah, they're fairly expensive and fairly pretty. Might as well keep them nice. Doesn't need to be particularly tight in there. Right. I thoroughly suggest a tiny bit of lube on the thread here, which will help us get the tube over it, otherwise it will uh, not be easy. Right, let's get an end on. So we need to push this end carefully in. Now these are quite awkward, so there we go. It's just a matter of not destroying the braiding while you're at it. And they're quite tight. Ow! And very sharp. Basically get the braid in and push the standard method. Sod it. Okay. And that needs to be fully seated, which is about a centimetre in. Cool. Right. Now then. I've done this wrong way around. It's gonna be easier then. This in the vise carefully, otherwise, you've got to rotate the tube. Don't want to pinch it too much and warp it. So, this should, in theory, screw in. And it shouldn't push the pipe out. You see how this works? It basically screws the pipe 
screws the thread into the pipe and also splays it out inside this. This is fairly smooth. I imagine it should get a bit stiffer towards the end. It is. That's why I've got to break out the old uh, What's it? Which doesn't fit. Right. Bigger one. There we go. Gently just wind it in. That's the one end on. Quite, um, quite tight. Well, we'll, uh, we'll have a look at the block and measure up where we need to cut the tube. All right, so we've got our 90 degree end on, which swivels, luckily. I'm going to just pop that on here. By hand, figure out exactly how long this needs to be. I want this to be fairly level. So I'm going to go with... I'm just going to get the connector. So we're going to need to be about a centimetre up from this base. Which leaves us Basically, there. I'm going to go and mark that and cut it. And there we go. Seems to have got that length absolutely spot on. More of an educated guess than anything, but quite happy with that. Right, have uh, well, have fun. Uh, see you next time.